good day everyone you are welcome to today's class and today's topic is sense organs we are going to be looking at sense organs we know sense organs are found in the body and by the end of this class everyone should be able to name the five sense organs we have in the human body that's the five primary sense organs we have in the body and then everyone should be able to see the functions of the sense organs in the body so we proceed introduction the five sense organs are the main tools that human beings use to perceive the world around us. So for example, how do you feel when you can't see or something enters your eyes and you can't open your eyes? Definitely there will be no interaction. You can't see anything. Like if you are blind, you can't see the road. So these are tools that God has given us that we can use to perceive the world around us, that we can use to know what is happening around us. So that's the five sense organs. Our brain receives signals from each of these organs and interpret them to give us a sense of what is happening around us. So we have the taste, we have vision, we have touch, we have smell, we have hearing. These are the five main tools that human beings use to perceive the world around them. So, we move. So, the five sense organs now proper. So, we have the sight we see with our eyes. Then we have the smell, we smell with our nose. We have the hearing, we hear with our ears and we have the test we test with our tongue we have the touch we touch with our skin so all this listed here or mentioned here are the five sense organs we have that means we have the eyes we have the nose we have the ears we have the tongue we have the skin so the function of the five sense organs in the human body we are going to be looking at them one after the other and we are going to see the function of every of them in the human body so we are going to start with the eyes the eyes contain photoreceptors now these photoreceptors are what the eyes use to convert the light that comes to our eyes that then translates to the vision that's what we see so the photoreceptors are a group of receptors that the eyes use in carrying out its own function of seeing so these are the function of the eyes the eyes obviously allow us to see when you use your eyes, you see the things around you. It helps us to judge depth. It helps us to interpret new information. When you see something, maybe if you see a building, you can tell us whether it's painted, you can tell us whether it's a story building, you can tell us whether it's a flat, you can tell us whether it's a single room, you can tell us whether it's a supermarket. So you interpret information. And then you identify colors. It is with our eyes that you can differentiate whether an object is blue, red, green, white, or any kind of color you can think of. So the eyes is very important. Now we move to the next one, which is the nose. The nose contains the chemoreceptors. We know they are used to smell, to smell scents, 
smell has the stronger connection between memory, connection to memory. A familiar smell can remind us of things long forgotten. Like if you perceive the smell of Indomie, you can say, okay, this guy is cooking Indomie. Or you can perceive the smell of a particular drink and you say, yes, this one is beer. Or you say, this one is Coke. Or you say, this one is Fanta. So it's the nose. Our nose helps us to connect and remind us whether a smell is familiar or not. So we move on. We move on to ears. The ears contain mechanoreceptors. We have the outer ear, we have the inner ear, and we have the middle ear. Definitely the ears allow us to hear sound and they allow us to detect vibrations in air particles around us. The inner ear also helps us to maintain balance and regulate sinus pressure. So, we move to the tongue. The tongue is used to test foods and they are also used to sense hot or cold in food and liquid. And we have four different types of test pods. Each detects different types of tests. We have the sweet, which we use the tip of the tongue to test. We have sour, we have bitter at the back of the tongue. We have salt. So we have four different types of tests. The sweet, the sour, the bitter, and the salt. So the tongue helps us to test all these things. We go to skin. The skin is the largest sense organ and it contains the general receptors. The skin performs very plenty functions, among which of among which are perspiration. That's sweating to cool the body. We have protection from elements. It's the skin that protects us so that nothing can just enter into our body just like that. Then we have sensing what is in contact with our bodies. It communicates with other human beings through touch. If somebody touch you, you will know. It's the function of the skin. When your skin is active and it's functional, when someone touches you, you know. Or if something touches you, you know. Storage of water and liquids. The skin also helps the body to store water and liquids. Then formation of vitamin D from the sun. You know, the skin also helps in the formation of vitamin D which is a source that helps us to build strong bones in our body. Then the skin also helps in water resistance and heat regulation. So that is what the skin does. So this is a summary of all we have learned today. We learned about the five sense organs, which we can all see, they are the nose, the eyes, the ears, the tongue, and the skin. And these sense organs carry out different functions and help us to connect with our environment. So thank you very, very much for listening. But before we go, we have some exercise to do. So the number one is you name the five sense organs in the body. Secondly, you give the type of receptors found in each of them. Then lastly, what is the largest sense organ in the body? Do have a nice day. Thanks for listening.
Excellent.